It's Friday, May 4th, 2007, and you're watching The Ointment. You know what day today is? It's Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. Friday's here on the show. We take a look back at some of my favorite stories from the past week, so let's get right to it. Our top story, President Bush got out his veto pen. He vetoed a bill sent to him by the U.S. Congress that set a date for the return of U.S. troops from Iraq. Now what happens is the war in Iraq goes into sudden death over time. A new report has experts saying that U.S. withdrawal of troops from Iraq spells disaster, as opposed to U.S. troops staying in Iraq, which spells catastrophe. Meanwhile, over there in Iran, they have outlawed Western-style haircuts. So if you get your hair cut or your eyebrows plucked, they may pluck off your head. But the good news is, since they've ruled out Western-style haircuts, no danger to our Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice. Over there in Turkey, people are protesting in the streets because they fear their secular government has been overrun by religious zealots. If it's any consolation, Turkey, we know how you feel. President Bush has said that Fidel Castro's reign in Cuba may soon come to an end and freedom will ring. You know what? A lot of people here are saying that about him. Now, I pick on President Bush perhaps a little too much, so I want to say something nice about George Bush today, and that is, no matter how bad things are going for him, he still loves to dance. Just look at him go. Doesn't it make you proud to be an American? Paul Wolfowitz, the leader of the World Bank, is being forced out. However, before he goes, he's trying to negotiate himself a $400,000 bonus. He just doesn't get it. He says to them, hey guys, what's the problem here? When I was running things in Iraq, I could have skimmed this off the top in a week. In domestic political news, Hillary Rodham Clinton is dropping the Rodham from her name. She's running for president, of course, and she wants to be less controversial. So, no more Rodham. She's going by Hillary Clinton now. However, if she really wants to be less controversial, she might want to think about dropping the name Hillary Clinton. In economic news, the Dow Jones Industrial Average has hit another record high, which reinforces the old wives' tale that the shorter women's skirts get, the higher the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So this tells me that all those starlets running around town in short skirts are really great economic prognosticators, especially when their skirts are so high they expose their yum-yums. And finally, we wrap up each week with our news quiz question. Today's question is about the presidential debate that took place last night among the 10 Republicans vying for the presidential nomination of 2008. It took place at the Ronald Reagan Library in Southern California. When asked, a number of the 10 candidates said that they do not believe in evolution. Well, what do they believe in? A, the mixture of church and state. B, pandering to the right wing, or C, divine intervention, it's the only hope they have of getting elected. That's the ointment for another week. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve Tatum, and that's news. Have a great Cinco de Mayo, everybody.